Hey there, today we're going to learn how you can set different billable rates for different clients in FreshBooks. You can't set that with the service or item that you that you build, but by using the projects feature, we can do this and that way you're always gonna remember what you decided to charge each client for the work that you agreed to do. Uh, the, the best thing about this is we're gonna have a special guest teacher, a member of my Fresh Bookkeeping Network where we meet weekly to have office hours on how to get the bookkeeping done in FreshBooks. A man named Derek Brown, he is going to be here and tell us how to do this. He, he brought it up in our office hours a couple of weeks ago and everyone was just blown away. And so I thought, what who better to teach it than him? So let's hear what he has to say. All right, Derek, thanks so much for being here. Um, I'm excited to have you be our guest teacher today on this YouTube channel. Please introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about what you do and your business, and then we're going to dive right into um, setting these different billable rates for clients. Yeah, sounds good. Hi, Kate. Nice to um, be in your, your video here. So I'm a, I'm a consultant on NetSuite. Uh, it's an Oracle product. I, I've been in this space for uh, about a decade, so I've been, oh, wow. I've been around the block for a long time. And not then, in your own so, business the whole time, right? No, I work back yeah. in the industry. So I, I've been, a, you know, multiple. I've been a consultant um, at a um, as an employee of a company. I've been uh, an administrator at a at a bigger company. So I have been all over the place, right? And so then I when I went on my own as a freelancer, I just found fr uh, FreshBooks is my system that I was going to use, and then I used it for a while and found out that you know I kind of need a little bit of help, and so mm -hmm. I found I found UK on facebook and then saw your youtube channel so it's actually kind of nice to do a full circle and move back oh, yeah. from your youtube channel <laughs> great so that's awesome yeah so let's just dive right in to um figuring out how to set this uh set these projects so the backstory is y'all he has you know one client and he's going to agree to a certain rate but then you get that next client and we all charge our clients different prices let's be honest um and so he uses this project feature to set those um rates. So I'm going to screen share and we're going to get started. All right, Derek, we're here in the dashboard of the FreshBooks demo company, but let's, uh, let me have you walk me through where I need to go to get started. Um, let's, let's, let's uh, onboard two clients today. Okay. So do you already have a client created in FreshBooks? Yeah, I'm here in clients and I've got, I got low rate client and I've got high rate client for us to use because it's okay. in a little bit. There okay. we go. That sounds good. So, so what I do is um, I create a project. So on the left over there under time tracking, click on projects. Okay. And do you have any projects that, okay, so we want to create a new project. Um, so click on new project. You can do a flat rate or an hourly project. What, what do um, you normally do for your consulting work? Usually do an hourly project. Um, and so the way I do it is for every customer, um, there is like a general, uh, like an on-demand uh, support uh, project. And okay. then I might have multiple projects for, for one customer. So I might have like a, a project for like a specific project that we've scoped out. Um, and then we have, you know, you know, a statement of work that's going to define what we're going to do. And then I want to track my time against that. Um, and then you can look at profitability of that particular project. So let's just give this, um, give it a name. I usually would call like on-demand support um, for like just every customer gets this particular um you know project assigned to them let's do the low rate first okay. um and what service shall we what service do you call yours so i the service shows up on the invoice so in my world i i might call it like netsuite consulting or netsuite like development but you can call it like netsuite um, consulting all right netsuite consulting and then on the right over there, set billable rates uh, right there. So we want to maybe call this guy. Let's just make it easy. 100. Oh, sorry. Single hourly rate. Sure. Like a 100. 100. Um, and, and click on done. You'd only check that save this as standard rate. If you there's a global setting in FreshBooks, yep. I have a rate. So that would be if you want to override that. Right. Um, another thing I was going to add here, too, is if you have team members, maybe you have a, you know, you've extended your FreshBooks or you have a different license. Mm -hmm. that a subcontractor would log into and log their time against, you can set, uh, maybe you have different rates for, for different resources, depending on maybe their expertise or, or what kind of work that they're doing for that particular customer. Well, um, you could build them out at different rates in this project setting. Yes, exactly. Right. Well, let's just keep it simple for 100 here, because I, I think we're, we're just sort of illustrating the, the big overall concept. So shall yep. we save this? Yep, go ahead and save this. So, so now when you do like a time entry, 
you would see that um, you'd be able to select that client and that project. So you can you can actually just do a time entry just to see. So do a time entry. Uh, we'll do three hours. Yeah, go to right there over the first drop down uh, where it says on demand support and click on that. You see how it like has a parent child relationship? Yep. So you, you can track time against the client, like you know Chandler being awesome client. But then you could have you have these projects underneath. So so the way I do it is I track all my time against the projects, and then you can have um, on the invoice you can have it separated by project as well, right? So sometimes customers want to have different um, projects, maybe hit like different different parts of the invoice because on their side they want to budget for those expenses um for like diff like a finance department charge versus the marketing department charge and sometimes what i do is i just create a different project to to handle that um okay. so you would add a add a service so you, yeah click on the project add your service and then put in put in the, the notes that you would be billing them for in those those three those three great. minutes or three billing hours billing them for great work oh sorry it should be three hours sorry about yeah that. we'll just make it easy okay log time all right, so now we're back in the project section. Um, and so our next client is high rate client. Um, let's create a project for that. Same thing, create new hourly project. Um, I'll try to do it, uh, Derek, and make sure I'm doing it um, right. We can call this the same, or do you try to set different names that are distinct when you make a project? Or should we call this on demand as well? Um, the, what I personally do is I have every client gets automatically an on-demand support. That's just, I get a new client, I create the current client, I create the project, and everybody gets an on-demand um, support. And then you'd assign that to the client. And right, I'm so assigning this the high-rate client. Say, for instance, you have a client that you have a special project, right? And then you determine that you could do fixed fix bid for the project. You could um, You could create a project in FreshBooks and then make a flat rate project, you put in your total amount, and say rents you quote 5,000 or yep, yep. 1,000 or whatever whatever is agreed to for that level of service, um, you could still track your time against that because you want to know, well, you know, did I do a good job with coding this? Like, did I, was I, you know, was I on, on board with it? Or do if I get the same type of project with another customer, um, do I need to change how, how I'm doing that? So this is, will help you with that data so you can make better decisions. Exactly. Um, I pricing is one of the hardest things in entrepreneurship, so that data is really important. All right, so I I'm going to come over here and set the hourly rate two hundred dollars. Say we're done there. Um, and so, guys, you can add um, like if he was the kind of person that was buying a bunch of stuff. Uh, consultants don't, but like interior designers do stuff like that. You can mark up your expenses and also assign expenses to these projects. Um, this is really just to illustrate how you can use FreshBooks to remember what did I say I charged that was going to charge that guy for this work or that gal for this work. All right, so I'll save here. I think I'm all set. And I'm back in the projects tab and you'll see we have one client, or sorry, one project for the high rate client and one project for the low rate client. We've got three hours so far for the low rate and none for the high rate. Should we add some time for the high rate? Yeah, I would add some time and then maybe do an invoice so you can see how, yep. it, how it's structured on the invoice. Let me show you what I do for the time entry. Might sure. So okay. um, click on monthly view right there. And okay, so you're you're working with your clients, you're building out your week, you're adding you know adding value, and you're uh, billing your time. Um, and you um, maybe you want to build your time today, so click on the plus button next to the 18th, and then select your project that's linked to your customer. High rate, on demand support. Yep. Netsuite Consulting. Mm -hmm. Hours. Let's say we did five hours for him. Adding five hours. Uh, really great work. <laughs> but here you'd put the details of what y'all did, depending on your business, y'all. Correct. And yeah. click log time. And now you can click on generate invoice at the top right. Let's build a high rate client first. Make sure you have the right date range if you need it, but we're going to select all the unbilled time. Um, if you had put expenses as billable, uh, they would be able to, sh to uh, be filled in as well. Do you select anything else from here, Derek? I typically use the detailed view um, 
for, for my clients. There's a group view and a simple view. It really just depends on the level of detail that you need to show in your invoices um, and, and your time time entries based on your, your customers and based on your industry. So I use this one here because it, it will show um, the level of detail. Can you click on includes all details drop down? And then you can actually uh, uncheck things that you don't want to show. So you don't need to show the project. I do because it it um it, it just shows the, the project and kind of where the, where the time's going. Um, maybe you don't want to show notes. That's your memo on your time entry. Um, you can also exclude that. So you can customize your invoice to make it fit um, your business and and what you want to show your your client. So. All right. So we're going to click add to invoice. That's uh, such great information. I, I'm just. I hope everyone who's watching is appreciating this because this is this is gold. All right, so here's our invoice. So we got a thousand dollars, which is right. So we didn't have to remember FreshBooks did that calculation because we set this high rate of two hundred dollars, y'all. Um, mm -hmm. So we would save and send. This is not the tutorial to teach you about how to send an invoice. Um, there's lots of different ways to do that. Um, so I'll just save it right now and let's do the same thing. Let's blast through the the low rate client one. We get generate invoice, low rate client. We can make uh, the selections. Um, FreshBooks, y'all, typically, whenever it has like drop down menus or clickable settings, the next time you do something, it remembers what you did the last time. So that's just kind of something to know. I don't know how how it's coded in the back if you can count on that 100 percent of the time but like 95 percent of the time it's going to be what it was last time and we had removed project and notes um if we let's maybe this guy we want to add him back in yeah and we click add to invoice oh great work yeah you would not want to share your notes with that client on this one but we're going to add to invoice and three hours at the rate this is the critical part of this tutorial a hundred dollars and save that Hey, Derek, thank you so much for sharing that. We really appreciate it. I know it's going to be valuable for the folks who uh, listened. And uh, I can't wait to see how you continue to grow your business. We love having you chime in each week during our office hours. Um, and you're just a great member of the group. So thank you so much. Thanks, Kate. I'm uh, looking forward to future, future videos with you. I'd love to join in and help you out. That sounds awesome. All right, I hope that helped you uh, learn this uh, nice trick in FreshBooks. If you ever want more information about the office hours that Derek's a part of, reach out and let me know. And if you ever need help with FreshBooks, uh, number one thing you can do is subscribe to the YouTube channel. I got a new video out every week. Um, or you can reach out and I'm happy to uh, have a free 50 minute consultation with you to see if we might be able to work together. I'm Kate Josephine Johnson, and I help businesses build their business legacy.